Hi guys and welcome to the happy heart. I'm so glad you guys came by today. I am making Christmas Italian cookies. I saw this on She's in Her Apron and the cookies looked really easy. They looked really good and I said, you know what? I'm gonna try it. So no joke, it is 10.45 at night but everyone's asleep. So this is like my time and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make these cookies and I'm gonna bring you guys along <laughs> to show because sometimes you just need some quiet time and some sugar. So that's what tonight's all about. So I just wanted to bring you guys along while I made these cookies and we'll see if they worked out for me. Hers always look amazing and I've seen like tons of different videos that she has them in. So I'm gonna give it a try and cross my fingers. So here we go. Okay guys, this is the recipe, and this is what I'm going off of. Six eggs, a cup of sugar, a cup of melted shortening, three tablespoons of lemon extract, um, two tablespoons of baking soda, four cups of flour, and a pinch of salt. So, here we go. All right guys, so we got six eggs so far. All right, cup of sugar going in. All right, the lemon extract is in there. I know you can't tell, but I told you it was late at night. I don't have a camera, guys, so I put it in. All right, this is one cup of melted shortening, and the bowl is kind of hot, so I'm going to take it and pour it in here. All right, so we are combining right now. You can really smell the lemon. pretty color. Alright, the next thing is the flour. And this is my flour scoop that I keep in my flour all the time, I know. But I make bread a lot, so. So it says four cups. So we're going to add the four cups to the bowl here. Next thing is the baking powder, and it's two, two tablespoons. Alright, so there's a tablespoon. It's usually the bigger of the two spoons in your spoon drawer, but I have some fancy Pioneer measuring, Pioneer Woman measuring cups. So here we go. We're gonna do one more. One more. We're gonna do a pinch of salt, guys, like my new little. I love these little salt and pepper shakers. I think I got them at Cracker Barrel. Does that seem like a pinch? Probably. We'll see. All right, here we go. It kind of looks good. I'm going to put a little more flour in. the dough just to be a little bit sticky. All right, so I greased my cookie sheets. Not really sure if you're supposed to do that. But she says she just makes them into like little balls. And it looks like hers, you didn't want to make them too big because if you made them too big, they like cracked a little bit. So I'm just gonna make a little ball and put them on and I'm thinking that that's going to be a pretty good size. So I'm just doing about the teaspoon worth and trying to roll them into a ball. Put them on the cookie sheet. The dough smells really good. You can smell the um, lemon. You can also use anise, I guess. And I didn't know what anise was. And I was telling my mom about these cookies and she said that anise tastes like black licorice. So maybe if you liked that or you knew somebody that liked that, then this would be a good idea. I actually liked the idea of these cookies because they were round. She said traditionally, um, you tied them kind of like in a bowish type of thing or like a ribbon and she showed a picture and everything.
but I the appealing part for me was that they looked like little round balls and I just thought they were cute for Christmas and I thought putting them in like a box and giving them away would be perfect because they were just like this round cute cookie so this is my dough I'm doing about a teaspoon worth and trying to keep them kind of small I don't put cookies very close on the cookie sheet I have a little bit of a phobia of that so I kind of spread mine apart um, a lot but I don't think these will rise but I'm not sure how much so I'm thinking this size is actually more ideal oh I got dough all over me but yeah, I'm thinking this size is more ideal rather than this size. But I guess we'll see how they bake up. All right, 400 degrees says for seven minutes, but to check them at five. And that was actually what I liked about these cookies was the selling point for me about these cookies were that the time was short that you cooked them, which sounds really weird, but if it's too long, like, I just want to do other things and it drives me crazy, and then I end up burning the cookies. So, long story short, that was a big selling point, so cross your fingers, these turn out good. Poofed. Oh no, they poofed up, guys, they broke. I don't know if this is bad. But I know she said that the biggest deal was that they were supposed to be golden brown on the bottom. And they are, so that's okay. We'll just make them smaller next time. Before the frosting, it doesn't have any measurements. It just says um, to put powdered sugar, um, a little bit of milk, and um, a cap full of lemon extract. So, of course, I thought I had milk, and I don't. So I'm gonna use a little bit of half and half and see what happens. Powdered sugar, you're supposed to put a little bit of milk and lemon extract, a cap full. And then you're supposed to kind of stir it till it gets a consistency. She said this was like the hardest part because you just have to stir it till you get the right consistency or the consistency you want. So I'm assuming it's a little bit thicker and not runny, but not too thick. So. What I'm doing right now. I think I'm gonna add some powdered sugar to mine. All right, so I'm probably looking more haggard and haggard, but we're gonna keep going. And I am gonna do what she said. She said to take this and kind of dip it in your icing like this. Let it drip off, I think. Put it like this, and then put sprinkles. You think? I don't know. Maybe a little. I think. I think my frosting needs to be a little bit. I'm doing it right. Okay, you guys, I got a little bit braver and I've been putting more on the cookie sheets. <laughs> so, cross your fingers that it's okay. 
I think we're gonna go for five minutes instead of seven minutes. I think I left them in for six minutes last time and some of the bottoms got a little bit too, they seem dark, they seem dark. So I tried to go smaller and I'm gonna do five minutes. So we'll see. Here we go. It would probably help if I lowered the rack too, so. Look at your look at your racks. <laughs> Alright guys, so I left mine in for five minutes and the bottom's got this kind of golden brown, which is exactly what she said it should be like. And they didn't crack as much, so I'm guessing that is what I need to do. I know everybody's oven's a little bit different, but I would say um, lower time the better. Here is the finished product. Of these. All right guys, so it is uh, probably after midnight right now. And I just got done. This recipe I was actually really, really impressed with. It tastes really good, it smells really good. Um, I like the lemon touch to it. And it makes a lot of cookies. Like I counted up and I think it made like 90 cookies. So this is great for like, if you wanna make a bunch of baked goods and um, put them out to a lot of people because one batch making that many cookies is really really I thought a really good thing so I'm actually gonna take mine to church tomorrow I think this recipe was a total hit sometimes you see things in videos and you're like I don't know if I can recreate that but this one I could totally recreate and it tasted great and it was a big hit it probably will become a new tradition in our house so I'm really glad that I could share this with you um, love to see if you guys try this. It's definitely worth it. It makes a lot of cookies and it doesn't use a ton of ingredients. So I think I probably made all of these for, mm, I would say less than $10. So pretty good cost effective as well. I will see you guys again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will have a brand new video for you very soon. Have a good day.